Well, hello everybody and welcome to lesson 20. We're starting to expand our vocabulary of chords and uh, really broaden our understanding of, of how the chords are all put together and how they're laid out and the functionality of each of these different types of chord, funk, uh, chord voicings that we learn from big power chords, thick power chords, to simple triads, to full bar chords. We've got a, little, a chord designed for every kind of purpose. But one thing that we haven't explored too much as of yet are seventh chords. I've introduced dominant seventh chords a while ago, but we didn't ever get into full seventh chords of major sevenths or minor sevenths and things like that. So we're going to cover some of those today. And we're going to start off in the open position. So let's talk about the open position and kind of relate to the seventh chords uh, in the open position. But let's talk a little bit about the theory of them first so we can explain what they're, what they're all about, really. If you take a look at a triad that I have spelled on the board, you can see, actually it's a seventh chord, but I'm going to talk about it. A triad would be simply a root, a third, and a fifth. If it were just this much information, you would have what's called a C major triad, right? And any way you put the notes together is still a triad. It could be a C major triad like this, or a C triad like this, or this, or this, or this. These are all C major triads because they have roots, thirds, and fifths. It doesn't matter how many roots, thirds, or fifths. If it's got those three notes, it's called a C major triad. Okay? Now, the minute you introduce another tone to the triad, like this tone right here, it's now called a seventh chord. In this case, specifically a C major seventh. And that's one more third above the fifth. So that becomes the major seventh. Okay, so that's a little bit more sophisticated color. It's a little bit more uh, extended version of a major triad. Here's a major triad, and now we have a seventh chord. And it sounds a little bit more pretty. There's a little bit more color to the chord. So that's achieved very simply in an open string version by simply releasing the first finger to the major seventh, the B note. So you've got a beautiful C major seventh chord in uh, originating from this open C fret, or open C form. Okay, and uh, we're gonna do that with all the other open string chords that we can, that we can uh, find here. So remember we had, we've, we've done this with dominant chords, but we never did it with major seventh chords. So here's an A major chord. And now we wanna include the major seventh of the chord. So where is that in this chord? Well, it's no harder to find than just looking at the next root here and playing the half step below it. Instead of using two roots in our chord, I'm gonna play the major seventh below the root. And now I've got a really nice A major seventh chord, and that's what that one looks like that, right there. Okay? And in this case, oh, you can go from the A all the way up to the open E, and it's a pretty nice chord. Okay? When we go to the D form that we had here, okay, once again, we have two roots, and we've got a fifth and a third, but we need to find the major seventh. As you're realizing, it's right below the root. In this case, it makes sense to put it here and simply bar across the top three strings at the second fret. With the open D ringing underneath, we create a D major seventh chord. So to recap, so far we've got C major seventh, A major seventh, and D major seventh. And they just have a more sophisticated color, as you can hear. The way the, co the color is a little more jazzy, a little bit more rhythm and blues. There's just a nice color to it. Okay, so different chords usually are used for certain musical situations and styles. So these could be jazzy chords or R&B chords. Okay, now when we take the G major chord that we played here, big, big chord with a lot of roots. Okay, so there's a lot of different voicings we're going to learn to find major seventh chords. I'm just exposing you to the open forms right now. We're going to get into some other movable shapes later. But why don't we do this? Why don't we take the root here and simply bring it down to the half step down and now we've got a usable major seventh, uh, G, G major seventh. Okay, so we've got open G. Oh, let me try that again. Okay, you'll cut that out. Young. We've got open G, 
and we've got a major seven. Open major seven. Okay, that's kind of cool, right? I don't really play that one a lot, but. It would kind of be affected in that kind of a thing. Once again, watch what I did there. I made a major, major seven, and then I went to dominant seven, and then C major seven. That's kind of a nice little progression. Okay, and we also have an E form of a, of a major seven. And once again, we find an extra root that we're not gonna need. And we leave the low root there, but we bring in the major seventh right here. And you can see that we've got the low root, the fifth, the major seventh, and another um, third here, or the only third. We probably don't want to leave and let the E ring on top in this case, because it sounds a little dissonant against the major seventh like that. So we're just going to let it ring up to the up to the fifth, the open B. Okay. And you might play A major seven here. And E major seven. They kind of go together well because they're in the same key. Okay, and then finally we have, I wouldn't call F major an open chord, but because it has one open string on the top here, when we take this shape, reduce it to this, and then add the major seventh from, from the root right here, it, this becomes an open F major seven chord because it has one open string. So that's what we've got right here. Here, this is the root and this chord but it's really originally coming from this shape right here. Just simplify to this and then added major seventh. So literally we have root, third, fifth, major seventh of the chord. So you might use the C major and the F major seven really effectively together. You could maybe do this. about those chords is the E is common to both of them. So the E kind of resonates through the top of the chords there and it makes it sound really nice to, uh, to hear. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna challenge you with some chord progressions on this next uh, part of the lesson so we can work out on the, on the major sevens. Okay, be right back. Okay, so let's put these open string major seventh chords together in a few exercises I've written on the board for us. Okay, once again, all these lessons have downloadable PA, PDFs that you can print out and keep in your notebooks for your study so you don't always have to go back to the videos. You can keep them in a notebook and practice with them whenever you want. So I suggest that you download those so you can always have them. Okay, so we're going to go from the, on the first exercise, we're going to go from the C major 7 right here to the F major 7, right? And then we're going to go back to C and then take that into the A minor chord, and we're just gonna play an open A minor triad there. It should sound pretty good, okay? And we're gonna play along with our bass player friend, Jen, and he's gonna help us out. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Very mellow, very musical. Oops, I messed up. Okay, no, that's okay. Let's just go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 